So my name's Chris Shepard, chef in Houston, Texas. When Smithy told me that they were coming out with this big old 14, I'm telling you, I love to entertain. I love having people around. I love cooking for people. I could not have been happier. This is about one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a long time. So let's get down. We start talking about cooking over live fire and over coals and flames. To me, one of the most beautiful, fun experiences to do, hands down. I like cooking steaks and cast iron inside, but man, you start a fire, it's time to go. You need to have something that is specifically designed for that, in my opinion. The heat distribution of this is imperative. You put a little flimsy pan in there, it's not gonna work. It's just, it's gonna burn on one side, not cook on the other, it's gonna get destroyed. These cast iron pans are built for this. They're built for your oven, they're built for your stove top, but they are built to go into flames. I mean, cooking over live fire is one of the most like interesting things that's starting to understand the life cycle of wood. Right? So you've got hopefully dry wood. Green wood is not as easy to cook on. You start to hear that sizzle and crack and pop from the wood, that's because it's holding moisture. If you got nice dry wood that's been aged and you put it on that fire, it's going to go pretty quickly. In that first few minutes, what you're going to get is fire and intense heat, and then it'll start smoke process. And then once that starts to break down, it goes into ember. And ember is when it starts to gently be able to cook. It's going to be an intense heat, but it's going to be a gentle heat. Use what's in your area. I've, I use a lot of post oak, I use a lot of mesquite, I use a lot of pecan, I use a lot of hickory, um, and those are the woods that I like to use. We're taking cast iron, it's about as historic as you can get to cooking how it's been done forever. Like, it is coals, it is pots, it's pans, it's this beautiful cast iron that we're just going to bury in the fire and get the char and our vegetables and our fish and whatever whatever you're cooking. Cooking redfish on the half shell is one of the most beautiful techniques you can do. You just put it on one side. You don't have to scale it. You just fillet it, put it on one side, put it in your smithy, <laughs> let it cook through. I'm gonna throw this smithy in. We're gonna char some pineapple and some corn, little chilies, Make some tacos. What says Gulf Coast living like fish tacos? If I got a fire like that rolling, I got friends coming over, I got multiple things going into a pan. 14, not only is it big enough to be able to move things around, but you can cook some vegetables, you can cook your chicken, you can cook your fish, you can do everything in the same pan. It's just versatile. So when you're talking about going out to the fish camp, when you're talking about going out camping, even just in your backyard, one pan does it all.